to the Commission on Higher Education, Institutional Development and Innovation Grants Region 11, the Philippine Women's College of Davao, headed by the very dynamic Chancellor, Professor Vicente Antonio Bipijano III, the head of the Center for Innovation and Social Ventures, Mr. Emmy English, our beloved Mayor, Roberto M. Hugo, SB members, and special mention to Honorable Rondi Pinopino, our SB member representing indigenous peoples of Bantukan, to our stakeholders from the government, industry, and of course to all the six HEIs, state and local colleges who have participated in this indispensable endeavor and effervescent day to all of you. In this globalized age, there is a tremendous rise of technology uses. Humans are competing here and there for futuristic commodities. Gearing for the technological progress has become the norm and changes are inevitable. Many of us were made to believe that what uplifts human lives are the advancement they are experiencing. While everyone is uprooting for something new and something novel, our hindsight of our core identities are gradually fading. We are slowly killing our culture. This might be sound so brutal, but yes, we cannot deny the fact that our culture has now been buried in the depths of our consciousness, waiting for it to be cultivated. The sad part is the rich value of our heritage depreciates over time because we are too busy to think and care about it. Aren't we dreadful enough to forget our roots? I must say, we will not become who we are without our culture. Hence, cultural vanity and complacence are issues we must not just place on a brief hiatus, but must be put to an actual end. We should never ignore this alarming conundrum this issue is a cultural negligence has been recurring and must be given an urgent substantial attention. The question is, how should we start dealing with it? The answer is through proper education, training, and echoing. That is why we at Kulay ng Pantukan is indeed thankful to Ched Edith in partnership with Philippine Women's College of Davao through its project entitled Institutional Cultural Based Creative Entrepreneurship Capability Building through the development of PWC for sensationalizing the concept of culture preservation and for developing the longest running series of capacitating training for culture promotion. We feel so blessed that KNP has been chosen as one of the program recipients. Thank you for the support especially on the funding for this priority area, Indigenous Food, which KNP has chosen. KNP is a local college that sprung in an indigenous environment, and as its college president, I always give culture an immense significance. It is my dream to help our indigenous community to be uplifted and be empowered, and the Tambayayong Hub Network is a major step our constitution will take to help revive and revitalize the cultural relics the community of Pantukan has been losing. Currently, the KNP is on its way to creating a trademark for the whole community of Pantukan. They will surely commemorate this. Together with my team, we invite you to witness our hub Kakaan, a hub for Pantukan's cultural victuals. To all people who are behind this major project, especially to our Honorable Mayor Roberto M. Hugo, the SB members, and of course, Dr. John D. Bungkayat, the team leader, and its members, Irene May Diores, Mr. Sani Daraman, Mr. Rafi Masig, Mr. Dejimark Campuamor, and Isidin Manido, thank you so much for your effort, and we at Kulay ng Pantukan, cannot thank you enough for the benevolence and the kind of support you have given despite the exigencies pandemic has brought to us. 
We will surely treasure this colossal endeavor you have made for our institution. We are anticipating for a continued partnership with the Philippine Women's College and CHED and expecting more projects to come. Thank you so much, Commission on Higher Education, preferably the EDIG program, and of course, the Philippine Women's College for your indulgence. Mabuhay tambaya yung Hub Network. God bless us all.